Hello my pinkies, I hope you all are having a wonderful week and looking forward to the weekend that's coming. I had a pretty stressful week, it's because my printer just went bonkers last week. Oh my god. I can't use my printer until I get a new print head. I tried everything cleaning, so the shop is at a stop for printing and cutting. But I got most of the September mystery kit printed, cut, and it's already been shipping out since Monday. So I think there's just a few left, but those are all printed and cut before my printer just went bonkers. But anywho, that's my problem. <laughs> and I just got to learn to deal with it and learn to learn from it and grow from it. So let's get back to our plan with me this week. We are using our August Mystery Kit Weekly Kit. It's Weekly Kit A. The version I am showing you guys here is for the Happy Planner Glossy. And these are the sheets that comes with the Mystery Kit. You do get three full sheets for the week and a freebie, which is Ombre Heart Checkbox. And I'm also going to use another freebie, the Sample Freebie Sheet and some of the monthly stickers that I did not use during my monthly plan with me. Let's clean this up and here's my happy planner that I usually use and flip the page. So this week we're planning the August 14th to August 20th. Let's start planning. So first thing first, I put my date dots onto my date headers so that I don't mess up the dates. I also want to point out with the header stickers, as you can see here, that the stickers are actually cut higher than it is for my planner because there are different varieties of happy planners out there and I'd rather have it cut higher than shorter for those who have different ones than I do because with my mind shorter so I could always trim off the axis but if you know you guys have a higher header and you have a shorter sticker that really sucks so that's why I made those header a little bit taller to accommodate the other happy planners that are out there. Those of you who just joined me in this video I usually like to spread out my stickers that I'll be using for this week's just like this before I pick up my washi. I do not pick it out before I film. I don't know why I don't do that. Maybe I should, but I just like to do it in the moment of so because my creative juice is going and I guess that's the reason why. So I lay it flat like this and I go run to my cabinet and select the washies that will match this. As you can see, the color scheme here is mostly like a ballet baby pink, um, blue, greens, like a a, a teal green or seafoam blue and your light purple and a hint of yellow so those are the washi that I picked out it's actually from our shop um, one two three four four of them is not out yet it'll be out by tomorrow in our new release also new release videos coming out tomorrow too by the way I also added some just solid gold foil washi tape at the end there and those I got from Michaels so then I realized going through this footage while editing this video, I have no idea why my camera stopped, but I, it was in the process of me just putting a label at the bottom of the page to cover up the quote that was down there because I want to use a washi, but the washi is a bit transparent, so I use one of my labels to cover it so it doesn't the text underneath it doesn't show through. So before I put my main washi, it is a little bit shorter than the bottom footer. So I am just going to trim it with this gold foil here on both top and bottom. And now do it on both sides. Lastly, I'll add my main washi on top. I like to layer my washi. I just don't like to put one washi down. To me, layering just adds it a bit more detail and dimension to it. So there it is. I love gold foil. <laughs> Next, I'll be adding a washi to the top header. And I am using our Garland Bow Washi here. As you guys can see that I got ink on my fingers. It's because of my printer that went bonkers. Also, sorry that this went out of frame. 
Now I am going to do my full boxes. So this spread is going to be a scattered spread and I'll be scattering these full boxes um, throughout this week. But there is a pattern that I do do. I start from the top corner and go all the way down diagonally and then back up. So like a V shape. Um, because there's only five full boxes in the Mystery Weekly set, I decided to use them for Monday to Friday and then Saturday, Sunday, I will cover that area with um, scrapbook paper. So the next step, um, how well, my method of how I do is that once I place down my full boxes, I place down my to-do stickers because that's where my ombre heart check box is going to be, right underneath the full boxes. So before I place down my ombre heart check boxes, I need to place down my to-do headers so that I know what I need to do that day. So usually by Wednesday, I will put my to-dos at the top because there's no more room at the bottom, obviously, to put my ombre heart check boxes. So I just flip it back up to the top and continue with the pattern. So Thursday, same thing, I put my to-do headers underneath the full boxes. There is no right or wrong way of how you plan. Um, for me, I just felt that with scatter planning, it still needs some kind of organization pattern to it. And this is the only way that I could work with is that it just goes diagonal down the page and then back up. Even though it may look really scattered, but there is still a direction of flow, I, I guess you could say, and that it's still organized. This is actually planning out of my comfort zone because what I like to do, I like to do it in blocks. As you guys, most of you guys do know that my top block is for my events that's happening on that day. Middle block is all my full boxes and decorative elements. And then my bottom blocks will be what I need to do for that day. But with the scatter, it's just everywhere. <laughs> My full boxes are done, my to-do and ombre heart check boxes is done. So next is my today events. And before I do that, I like to put down my meal plan sticker. Now with the scatter planning, I have no idea or where I should put my meal plan sticker because for me, I like it to be in a row so that I know where to look at every day. I'm like, okay, what am I planning for this day? What are we having for this day? But with the scatter planner, I just don't know where to put it so what I did was that I just literally placed it underneath the ombre heart check boxes using the same method and system that I was using it's just to place it underneath the ombre heart check boxes. Before I do my todays I want to hit, well, I want to work on my sidebars and also with the weekend section to cover it with some scrapbook paper that I have in hand or in my scrapbook collection but also I want to use the sidebar that I didn't use in my monthly view and I could use it here so I'm just going to use one of them here. I went through my scrap paper um, of my scrapbook scraps of my scrapbook papers and I picked out a few that may work. I don't know yet until I bring it up here. So I do really like this pale pink because it's really soft. And then I figured with this gold, it might be too much pattern on it. So I decided not to use that one. And there's the black sparkle sprinkles, but I find that adding black to it may make it a little bit too bold. And then I do have this print here with the grays, but I feel that the gray might dull the color scheme of this weekly spread, so I decided not to use that. I also have this Hello Gold Foil scrapbook paper in my stash also, but then I felt that it might be a bit too busy and too much gold foiling going on. And I do have a solid color of this pink, but it's just a little bit too bold and dark for the spread so that's why I decided not to use that one too. And here are some journaling cards that I thought maybe at the end I could make a journaling card for this week. Still can't decide which pattern or paper to use. I also pulled out this one here that I thought that might might work with the spread because it's with the scrolls and there are little scrolls on the gold foil in the full boxes so I thought it might work but I don't know. <laughs> You know me, indecisive. I finally decided to use the watercolor pink scrapbook page 
or paper for this spread. Here I am just measuring out how I need to cut. I usually flip the paper backwards and then just put a mark on where I need to cut and that's it, easy peasy. There was a little bit extra left so I thought maybe I could use it for my sidebar but it came out a bit too short than what I like it to be, which you will see in a few minutes. Here I'm just going to double side tape my scrapbook page onto the weekly section. Now on to our sidebar. So before I tape my sidebar down, I just want to make sure that I do have enough or not have enough. So I'm just going to place this down here and I know I'll be using my sidebar sticker on my monthly sticker sheet here. I'm going to pick the pink one because it matches the color scheme for this week. As you can tell, this scrapbook paper is a little bit too short for the sidebar. So I decide to not use that scrapbook paper and use another print. I thought I would give the other solid pink paper a try, but then it just feels that it's way too bright for the weekly spread. You may not see it on camera, but live it's literally a little bit darker and it just throws the spread way off so I decided not to use this one and went with the pattern instead. And same thing here I'm going to double side tape this area and place my sidebar down and we'll take it off camera to trim it. Once I have my sidebar and my weekend section done I'm going to start working on my todays but before I do that I have to put on my weekend banner. And now I'm going to work on my todays. So when I was doing this or filming this, I was literally all over the week. I didn't do just like, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Literally, I just, I did by category more than the days. Like, for example, I know I need to fulfill my order. So I put it down all my days. Okay, that's done. So then next, I need to mail out my orders. So I put down the days that I need to mail out my orders. So... <laughs> I don't know, I, it was just all over the place. Okay, so on Monday, this Monday, well, the Monday 14th, is the first day that my kids don't have camp, so they are home. I am going to use my scallop washi to put a border around this. And then I'm gonna add my kids' icon, Penny and Mason there. So hopefully, I was hoping when I was doing this plan with me that I resolve my printer problem by the end of the weekend so that Monday I could start printing and cutting again. Mondays I also like to run errands so I'm going to make sure I'm going to fulfill some orders and then after I'm going to ship them all out, especially the ones on weekends and I'm going to ship them on Wednesday and Thursdays and Friday. And because that my printer was down, I'm a little bit behind on shipping and packaging them out. So I know that I'll be fulfilling orders every day. <laughs> Tuesday I have my kickboxing session. At first I thought I should put a half box underneath my meal plan sticker but then I just felt it needs to be divided so I'm just going to use my bow washi here and put a border around the half box. Sorry no it was a quarter box. And Tuesday I'm planning to go to the Chinese grocery store to pick up a few items that I can't buy at my local grocery store. So I'm going to do a trip to the Chinese store on Tuesday morning. 
And then at this moment, I realized, oh my God, Tim Hortons, um, Tim Horton is a coffee shop here in Canada, has a new app that you could mobile pick up, like order on mobile and then pick it up when you go at the counter. So I'm like, hey, I'm gonna try that on Monday morning, order it on my app and then just go pick it up and see how that goes. And can't forget my garbage day on Monday. This week is garbage and organics. And Tuesday, I usually like to do my laundry because then Wednesday, I do my kids' laundries. And Wednesday, I plan to go to my local grocery store to do some grocery shopping there. It's gonna divide this box up or put a border up of my bow washi and use a teardrop sticker and place my grocery bag sticker on top of that. Now Thursday my husband has hockey that day. Same thing I'm going to use a pink bow washi to divide the section up a bit. And here I realized that, oh my gosh, Wednesday, that's when we go to the batting cages to hit some balls. So I just placed down an appointment sticker there and put weights as, so it's, it's sort of a workout. You, you do get a pretty good workout when you swing the bat and hit the ball. But anyways, back to Thursday, it's my leg day. So I indicate that with another appointment box and my shoe icon just to say it's legs. And as I mentioned earlier, my husband do have hockey, so I'm just gonna put a gold scallop border and then place my quarter box in there with a hockey icon sticker to show that that day my hus hus <laughs> my husband's playing hockey. So my work week. <laughs> If you could see me, I'm actually doing the floating quotes work week. Um, usually Monday to Wednesday, I try to get all the orders out, fulfill them out. And then with Thursday and Friday, that's when I start doing editing my videos or anything to do with social media, take photos, product photos, um, edit, upload, film. Anything to do with social media is for Thursday and Friday. So here I'm just putting down all my icon stickers. So on Thursday, you can see that I have three edit um, videos that I have to do, which is a plan with me, a new release, and also the September mystery kit unboxing. And on Friday, I will be uploading a plan with me which is this one that you are watching right now and I think on Saturday I'm going to upload my new release video and I think also Friday I'll be uploading the unboxing of the September mystery kit. Here I am just going to put another border down for this section because I'll be filming that day of my next week plan with me video. Also Thursday and Friday I have to work on my Etsy page for the new listing that I'll be releasing on Saturday. And now to the weekend. So as I said, Saturday is gonna be our new release. Make sure to watch our new release videos because you do not wanna miss this. Anything that is Pink Room Co. related or work related, I always like to indicate it with my signature bow here, just so that I know that, oh, I gotta do this for the Pink Room Co. So for the weekend meal plans, it's just gonna be all takeout for the two days because I cooked Monday to Friday, so I need a break from doing dishes and cooking so Saturday and Sunday is my break day so we're just gonna do takeout for dinner I think they call it the 5-2 meal plan I think there is a thing like that like something like that you cook five days and you do takeout for two days type of thing I think it's called 5-2 if I'm not wrong also forgot to add that Friday is my push day for workout and Sunday is my pull day for workout so I'm just gonna add an icon sticker there just to indicate that I need to do my workouts. Weekends are for family time and Saturday we're going to attack Costco. So I usually don't watch a lot of TV on the week during the weekdays, but usually weekends I do. Weekdays I I literally just watch Netflix on my computer while I work um, doing fulfilling <laughs> orders, but for weekends yeah I take my weekends off and don't do any work at all so here I am just indicating um, Games of Thrones 
that. You know, Sunday, every Sunday, 9 o'clock, HBO, gotta watch, gotta watch. <laughs> I'm a nerd. So I just placed the TV icon on my flag there, and then the appointment box above is just to indicate that it's my poll day that day for my workout. I think I have everything down, so there's that huge space in the weekend section. So I'm just gonna cover or put a quote sticker in that area. And also another sticker for the sidebar. I put the big sticker down quicker, tried to fix it, but it did not work. With the mystery kit, it also comes with decorative sticker for your weekly kit. Here I'm just going to add them all around the spread. Next, I'm gonna start marking everything down before I forget. So I discovered this new pen. I don't know if it's new, but it's pretty new to me. It's the Sharpie pen, because I know they used to do a Sharpie retractable ultra fine pen, and that's what I've been using. But then they changed it into this design, like an actual pen pen with um, a rubber grip at the bottom, so it's easy for writing. I'm pretty sure it's a permanent marker pen type of style, but it's great on glossy and it's one of my favorite to use when I do my plannings. I know so far it only has blue and black, but I'm pretty sure it just came out this month. And there you go guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. And be sure to check out my next video, which is going to be the September Mystery Kit unboxing. <gasps> Whoa, spoiler alert. And then tomorrow I'll be uploading my new releases and the new releases should be up in my Etsy shop by tomorrow morning, Eastern Standard Time. Wishing you all an amazing, happy, and fun weekend, and I will see you in my next video. Happy planning! Bye!